In this tutorial, we are going to do the sample trust example that was solved by hand in the class. We start with invoking Abacus and then creating a part. Double click on the parts and name that something descriptive, such as in this case, sample trust. We switch to D 2D planar. And since we're using the wireframe, that is point-to-point -point, uh, stick model, we're going to switch the base feature to wire. And noting the approximate size about is four by three meters, I'm going to switch the extent to about 10 meters. We'll say continue. You see the um, pattern appearing here that allows you to snap to the corners or the vertices of these squares. Uh, we'll start with a uh, creating lines and from the bottom start somewhere around here and notice the vertical restraints showing up and then we'll go horizontally notice the H restraint showing up and then we'll connect to the beginning and we'll click on the scape to exit from here we'll go ahead and try to dimension uh, dimension the vertical line that's supposed to be three meters we'll simply switch in the prompt region to three meters press enter and then we'll dimension the horizontal line that's supposed to be four meters exactly but to be sure we'll retype the four meters and notice all we're interested in are the horizontal line and the diagonal lines so we're gonna go ahead and delete uh, the vertical line in this case and say done and done again and you will have the underlying geometry that is used for um, abacus to create the model and now we create a material for this particular problem we're gonna call that steel and uh, we go under mechanical elasticity and elastic and type in the value of the Young's modulus. Note again, we're working in the meters, so that's 210 e to the nine uh, Pascal, and give it a Poisson's ratio of typically about 0.29. Uh, you note that in front of the materials, parentheses one shows up, that means you've created one material, same way for the parts. And now you need to create cross sections associated with these uh, two members. Uh, the icon you see here uh, create section icon the left mouse click on it and let's create a section we call that section one 200 uh, mm, mm millimeter squared uh, something like this be sure to pick the category to be the beam and within that category we want the truss element we'll say continue and now we're gonna go ahead and assign the material which already is the default value and enter the actual cross-section once again be cautious here this is going to be in, expressed in the unit of meters so we have to say 200 e to the minus 6 to express the millimeter squared to meter squared and we create another one uh, the section 2 this is the section which is a 300 a millimeter squared and notice the program was intelligent enough to note that you're looking at the truss element again we'll continue and this time we enter 300 e to the minus 6 as the dimension value and now you've created the section you need to be able to assign the section to individual elements and here we use the icon just below the previous one which is called the assign section icon we'll say assign the section and I'm gonna uncheck the create set here it's not the needed for these types of problems we're solving um, so we'll uh, respond to the prompt that says select the region to be assigned we pick the horizontal bar and say done and then we assign the section notice the section is blank because you have more than one click on the down arrow section one and we'll say okay we pick the other section which is the diagonal one again we'll say done we assign that to section two um, and we'll 
we'll say OK and we'll say done. And that would be the extent of creating the geometry of the problem.